Welcome back to another video guys. It's early and I wanted to get this video out to you as soon as I could. Um, I had some people asking, you know, how to get this stuff started. You know, what do you do? Obviously you guys saw the other video, you know, how to edit one of these videos. Uh, but I actually wanted to get into a little bit more uh, in depth with how to start a business, how to do your marketing, how to do what we're doing over here at MBI Motorsports. And that's what we're going to do this morning. Um, the presentation is just going to be going over step by step, you know, what it's going to take to get your business license, what it's going to take to file your LLC and how to file an EIN number. And obviously we're, you know, week by week, we'll just start adding little things here and there. You know, I'm hoping to um, get this going for, you know, a few months just so you guys can always go back. And obviously when other people Google search it, these videos will pop up as well. So I'm going to get into this presentation real quick and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, back on the computer and uh, obviously we're going to be going over how to get this business started for you guys. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. So items we'll be covering, obviously, you know how to start this business from uh, start to finish, how to get your business license, the liability insurance all set up, how to file your LLC, how to obtain your EIN number from the IRS. So let's go ahead and get started with all the fine details. Starting your own business, the pros of starting your own business. Obviously it's the flexibility, you know, no one's going to be telling you what to do, what time to show up, so that's all going to be on you. More spare time, eventually, you know, obviously when I started MBI, you know, which wasn't too long ago, um, and we're in 2020 right now, I definitely have no spare time <laughs> with this. So obviously we're at the shop, um, you know, all day long, and then I come home, I'll edit for, you know, a couple hours depending on how many videos we have. And then, you know, spend time with the, the kid and the wife. And so, yeah, there's definitely no spare time in the very beginning. But I can tell you from previous businesses that I've owned, it's been very nice after the first couple years, um, depending on how much time and energy you want to put into it, is, you know, will uh, determine how fast you get your spare time. So, um, another thing, you call the shots. You know, it's whatever you want to do, how you want to do it. And I can tell you, you know, that can make and break you. So you definitely want to be careful with what kind of shots you do call. You set your own, your own deadlines, you know, uh, with MBI, you know, I wanted, to, you know, with Chris, you know, I wanted to only work with him and, uh, you know, and my buddies, you know, when they come into the shop, but you know, with the Bronco bodies, I, I told Chris, I don't want clients. I want to build to sell, not find the client and then you know, build what they want. You know, I want to build what I want and then sell it to, you know, people out there. I just want a normal, a normal job with MBI. So that's the beautiful part about being able to set your own deadline. You sell how you want to sell, you know, just like what I just said, I want to build to sell, you know, I don't want clients. So it kind of falls in the same category. You create your own environment. You can see guys with the, the new shop after moving out of the three car garage, you know, we were able to create that environment. You know, it's not a pretty shop, but inside, you know, it's a beautiful thing for us. We've got plenty of room. It's clean. You know, it's old. It's definitely old, but I have no problem with that. You know, we're able to, you know, we have 4,000 square feet to stay out of the rain. So when I was got the paint booth, you know, we created that. And that's the beautiful part about being able to start your own business. Pursue your passion. That is humongous when it comes to something like this, you know, I've always been told and that, you know, I've read things online is you'll never work a day in your life if you enjoy doing what you do. And I honestly believe Chris and I really do enjoy and love what we do at the shop and being able to help you guys and show you guys the path that we took and how we can teach you guys how to succeed. We get to meet new people. You know, I've met an, a bunch of new people and it's been so awesome. You know, I have mentors that, you know, I talk to day to day. And, you know, obviously uh, all the people that we meet, you know, on Facebook and through Marketplace, if we're going to sell a Bronco, but all these people we get to meet through starting MBI. So that's one huge thing is being able to meet all of the cool people within your industry. We get to create new jobs. You know, obviously, you know, Chris and I are the only ones that are at my shop, but think of all the people that um, 
that have jobs when we purchase these Bronco bodies. You know, those are being manufactured. Those, you know, those people all have jobs. You know, we go to Wild Horses. Those people all have jobs. You know, we're able to, uh, you know, we're able to make it work for other businesses that have employees as well. So that's also another huge thing about starting your own business. And most importantly, you guys, helping people. Um, you guys will hear me say this over and over with MBI. You know, that's that's what the whole um, vision was behind starting this was to obviously build the Broncos. It started as that, but you know, now with MBI, you know, Chris and I talk all the time, and I just wanted to figure out some way that we would be able to help the people, you know, for free. You know, you guys come on YouTube channels and you know, you guys are able to watch these videos for free. Obviously, some people have paid subscriptions, but uh, you know, being able to help people is the most gratifying thing that um, that I get from all of this you know at the end of the day you know I see all the views that come through the new subscribers that's one more person one more view that um, we were able to do for somebody so that obviously is the biggest plus for me with starting my own business and you guys being able to start your own business so obviously there are cons with all of this You'll work harder and longer, just like I said earlier about eventually getting more more spare time. Um, it is going to be a lot of work, and I will not underplay that at all. You know, uh, Chris and I joke about it all the time that I never sleep. You know, I'm up till 12, 1, 2 in the morning, and I'm up by 4:35. You know, a few hours of sleep is all I get, but that's what it takes to make all of this stuff happen. You know. I go to sleep at night, you know, I make sure I spend time with the wife and the kids, little kid, <laughs> but uh, that's my thing, you know, I'm, I'm very family oriented, that's, you know, I believe God comes first, you know, family comes second, and then this business comes third, so um, always keep that in mind, you know, when you guys decide to go down this path of owning your own company, so you won't have anybody guiding you, that's, uh, that's the big plus of having Chris in the picture and I know it's the same thing for him as well is you know there's accountability there on both ends you know I know if he doesn't want to show up you know I'm there so it pushes him a little bit more and vice versa you know, there's days I don't want to go into the shop to do certain things like digging for the paint you know the paint pad I don't want to do stuff like that I did that my entire life digging and doing concrete so but you know him showing up you know it's a little it's motivating for me to get out there and do it so you definitely will not have anybody guiding you unless you're able to have someone, you know, like Chris and I, um, you know, how we're able to help each other throughout this. So just keep that in mind too. Um, this is a big thing. <laughs> you may not get paid for a while. Um, obviously you guys see the shop being done, you know, the paint booth, the lifts, you know, the Bronco bodies. Um, that's a lot of money that, you know, I've had to fork up to to make this all happen, but it, it's been, what, two, three months now? And I haven't made one dime. Uh, obviously, we've sold the Bronco, but um, yeah, you definitely will not get paid for a while, unless your business is just more easy going. You know, it's gonna be landscape, maintenance, stuff like that. You know, you guys will get paid once a month, which is beautiful, you know, the residual income. So uh, yeah, that's, keep that in mind. You're always going to be unsure about yourself. You guys, I'd be lying to you if this does not cross my mind on a daily basis, if not hourly. Um, the what ifs, the the doubting, it's not going to work, you know, and obviously that's just doubting yourself, but then you get the people that help you <laughs> believe this doubt. Um, family, you guys, you, you know, I'm oh, sorry, you'll never be able to make that happen. You know, you better have a second job. Um, that's that's all around guys it's gonna happen and you know this is the another beautiful part about why I wanted to start MBI and why Chris was involved as well is to truly help people get to where they want to be in life it doesn't need to be an automotive business it doesn't need to be you know painting cars and all the you know the little things that we do at the shop you know it could be anything you guys want to do but uh, it's just always remember, you know, it's it's just doubt, you know, their insecurities, it's, uh, you know, people around you, just stuff like that. But just, you know, just always protect yourselves, you know, protect your mind, protect your life, you know, and don't let this negativity come in and, 
you know, ruin everything for you and, you know, your family. So it's obviously starting a business for me. If I would have listened to my family and my friends and, you know, people that I've cut out of my life in the very beginning, I would never be sitting at this computer right now doing this presentation or these videos for you guys. So trust me, I've had nothing but negativity in my life and very few people have supported me and those very few people are still in my life. So again, keep that in mind. Things are never going to be consistent, which is why you're always going to be unsure about yourself. Um, the consistent things are things that we can do. You know, I have my set thing, set things that I do every single morning. You know, I try bringing consistency to my life um, before I even get out of bed, you know, before I leave the house, before I get to the shop. You know, those are the easy things. You know, getting up and, you know, you may hop on a treadmill for 30 minutes, which I probably should be doing more of. Um, you know, whether it's gonna be eating breakfast or, you know, reading a book, you know, some type of inspiration. You know, those little things, those are the only consistent things that I have in my life that I'm able to do on a day to day. So, you know, create that consistency in your life because your business definitely will not be that for you. So obviously we're going to get into the business license and liability stuff. So I'm going to hop over to Google real quick to show you guys how you can obtain your business license and liability insurance. So uh, go ahead and take a look here. So obviously with your business license, um, I'm just going to type in business license, Placer County. That's where I'm at, Placer County. So and that's what you guys want to do as well. So just, you know, type in how to get your business license in your county. Obviously I'll click on this and you know, guys, I've always gone straight to the source. I've never done one online and paid for the extra service because it's already expensive enough as it is. I believe ours is like a hundred and it's under 150 bucks. I think it's like 120 to 150 dollars depending. And obviously if I go into different cities, if I go, you know, Rockland, Roseville, they're a little bit cheaper, but I just like dealing with my county. Um, it's not very far from where I'm at, but obviously you can see, you know, here's the address that you're going to go to. Um, obviously if you're in Placer County, but uh, you know, just Google, you know, where to get your business license. You're going to show up, you're going to fill out a quick application, you know, what your what the name of your business is going to be um, your address your phone number if anybody else is going to be on that license with you you're going to pay the you know the small fee i think like i said it's no more than 150 bucks i'm in california so i'm imagining or i'm assuming that it's probably not going to get that much more expensive than that so um obviously you know if you type in your your county business license you can call them and they'll give you instructions on how to do that but that's how you go about getting the business license, you guys. It's uh, and obviously you can apply for different things online. You know, obviously you can, I don't know if there's any ads here, but a lot of you know if you want to pay a little bit extra, people can actually do it for you. So, but that's far as the that's it far as the business license goes. Liability insurance, guys. Um, sky's the limit with that. You know, a lot of people can just go to their insurance carrier that they have now and just ask them. You know, whether it's auto, your home insurance, just ask them. Hey, do you guys have any type of uh, resources to get me a liability policy started. You know, most of the time it's going to be a $1 million to $2 million liability policy for a small business. I know I have a $2 million liability for the shop and that covers just everything that we have going on in the shop. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's it for um, the business license and liability portion of this. Let me hop back in here. So, and now I'm going to go over how to file an LLC. Um, with this guys, um, I have LLCs for what we have because it's just Chris and I, um, my other businesses that I had, you know, they were full blown S Corp, C Corp, you know, with the landscape construction and concrete, you know, that was a full blown, um, S Corp corporation. And we can go over all that, you know, a little bit when we get onto the secretary of state website. So let's go ahead and hop over to that. So again, you guys just Google. Secretary of State. Obviously, I'm in California, so that's where I'm gonna be looking up. Obviously, when you're in a different state, look up your state. And if you're outside of California, props to you guys, because uh, you guys have a lot better than we do over here. So, uh, actually, let's go make this a little bit easier. LLC filing. So you can see, guys, you can get these things started for like 49 bucks. You know, having somebody do it for you, LegalZoom.com, 
you know, these places, you know, you can do that all. Um, I think I paid $600 for, um, when I did a legal Zoom LLC, which is absolutely crazy. So now I just do it with uh, the right through the Secretary of State. So, statement of information, let me see real quick. I don't know, I'm going to approach this a little bit differently. Uh, where are we at? Business. Okay, here we go. Limited liability company filing tips. Oh, I thought that was it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go. So obviously you can see corporations, you know, you can do a full corporation here, but we're looking just to do a LLC. So limited liability companies in California and it's all done online. You know, I'm a, I would imagine if it's not done online on your guys' Secretary of State, please send me an, info, or sorry, an email at info at mbimotorsports.com. Um, you can see the articles of organization, $70. You know, we just click on that here. This is just all information on that. But, uh, uh oh. Sorry, guys. This is a little bit different than. Statement of information, partnership. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I clicked on the form. We're supposed to click online. So. so you can see $75 plus a $5 certified copy fee. And, you know, this is literally how easy this is, guys. You know, you start this. Um, I accept. This is where you're gonna type the name of your, you know, your business. I'm just gonna do, uh, let's just make one up. Oops. ABV Holland, there we go. I just want it to be an LLC. Let's click next. Obviously type in your address, your city, state, zip, and you just go next. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I don't want to put all my information in this, but you just hit next and you're going to go up to, it's going to be service of process. Obviously you're going to put your information in here, the service of process. It, typically what they do is somebody else's filings for you, like LegalZoom, they would come in here and put their information in service of process um, and then obviously your management that's going to be you as the person or whoever else is going to be going in business with you organizer same thing it's going to be you i'm sorry i'm just going to circle this you got your organizer you're going to review it you're going to pay the 70 dollars plus the five dollar certification copy and that's it guys you know that's literally how you file your llc um, once you finish the payment it's going to ask you do you want to do an email copy or PDF, just do that. Don't have it mailed to you. You literally email it to yourself, print it out, scan it, save a copy, you know, a hard copy, put one in your computer, and that's it. And once this is all finished, you're gonna need to file a statement of information. And that is going to be, again, go back to the beginning where you started, LLC, come down to statement of information, right here I believe this is twenty dollars for california um so just so you guys know you don't have to find out the hard way like i did you have to wait like 24 to 48 hours before um your name will pop up in here so you're gonna do search your new llc name you'll get an email saying that it has been registered when you get that email then you can come in here and file for the statement of information and that's it that's you know that's as easy as it gets um search the name click on it, it's gonna have you go um, continue to file your statement of information, pay the $20, and you'll get that in like another 24 to 48 hours. Print it, have a hard copy of it, save a file to an organized um, file on your computer, and that's it. And that's literally how you start your LLC. So just over $100, guys, you can have your own LLC. You know, when you guys see all these different businesses, you know, it's it could be ABC or ABV hauling LLC or whatever incorporated that's how these guys are doing it don't pay the thousands of dollars through 
you know, LegalZoom.com and all those other places. It's literally this easy. You'll get all the mail, you know, um, with the step-by-step -step instructions on what taxes and stuff. I think I pay like six, seven hundred dollars a year for my taxes on this stuff. Um, it's a little bit more for S Corp or C Corp, but uh, yeah, that's it. As far as the you know filing an LLC, so let's go ahead and get started with how to get your EIN number for your business. Um, you guys, an EIN number is pretty much like a, a new social security for your business. So when you go and file for, you know, if you want to purchase a car, you know, you're going to put your EIN number down, not your, you know, your social security number. So perfect example, um, I was going to do a portion of the video on how to do a bank account, but everybody has a different bank and every application is different. So, I'm just going to let you guys kind of, you know, use your imagination with this. Say you want to go into Bank of America or Wells Fargo and you want to open up a business account. Um, you're going to put all your business information in and then it's going to ask you for an EIN number. That's what this is. That's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. Um, it's just on the IRS website. It's free and you get it instantly. You know, you don't have to wait. And this is the beautiful part about having an EIN number. When you have an LLC, you can file the LLC on your personal tax and or your uh, your personal taxes at the end of the year. It doesn't have to be a separate um, tax return, nothing like that. So um, obviously, you know, your business is completely separate from your personal, um, your personal use completely once you get this filed and once you get your EIN number and once you get a bank account set up under your business. Now you can open up a business account, you know, a business checking account under your business name that's still under a sole proprietor, um, under your social security is what I mean by that. EIN number is completely different. You want, if you want your business to be completely separate than your personal, this is what um, you need to do to make that happen. So I'm going to open up web browser again. Again guys, you just type in how to file EIN number. And obviously you see all these different ads, it'll take you to companies like LegalZoom, they'll do it for you. Just go to the irs.gov and it's literally this easy. Scroll down, apply online, push OK, begin application. Um, this is where you can do, you know, sole proprietor, corporations, here's your LLC. This is what we're looking for. Click continue. Um, it's pretty much just breaking down, you know, how to structure it, you know, um, you can have two or more members, multi-member, whatever, you know, this is just fine print, you guys can read through that. And how many members are going to be in your LLC, you know, it can be one, two, four, you know, however many you're going to have. Click your state, obviously we're in California. Okay, so it'll be a single member, obviously. Um, obviously here, you know, you're gonna click on starting a new business, you hire a new employee, banking purposes, change type of organization, purchase the active business, you click one that works best for you. Start a new business. So you put your first name, last name, obviously your social, cause it's gonna need that for your, you know, your personal tax return, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm not going to go into all this. I don't want to worry about blurring this all out later, but obviously first name, last name, social. Uh, you, um, I'm the member. Okay, so yeah, I would click that. So obviously this is a third party like LegalZoom. They would click that if they were filing this for you guys and you just click continue. Then it's going to ask you for your address. Then you can go over your details. Um, I mean, literally, I, I just don't want, it won't let me go to the next page. So it is, uh, yeah, it'll take you over to the details page. This will give you a breakdown of what your first name, last name, address, telephone number. And then that's it. You click submit. It'll take you to an EIN confirmation. That's the page it's going to ask you, do you want to mail it or do you want a, a PDF file? Just have them email it to you. It'll, you know, you're, you're going to have to put your email into the next page. Have them email it to you, print it out. Get that hard copy, put it in a, a special filing filing cabinet, and then download it to your um, 
your computer. And that's it. So that's literally start to finish, guys. I don't even know how long I've been taping this right now, but um, I'm trying to look. Where am I? How long has this been? I can't see. So 25 minutes, how to start a business. You guys, if you knew how long it took me to figure this stuff out from the very beginning, I didn't have anybody showing me how to do this stuff. You know, I talked to my dad here and there, talked to Chris. We talk about these little things, but never have I seen anything like what I just presented to you guys. And if you guys have any questions at all, please send us an email, info at mbimotorsports.com. You know, I thank you guys for watching the video and make sure if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the thumbs up button to make sure you guys stay up to date with all the new videos. And uh, so yeah, I, again, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed these type of videos. Uh, well, this video, um, this truly is the passion behind MBI Motorsports. It's not so much the content that you see in the shop. It's truly to be able to help you guys with stuff like this. So, you know, I thank you guys for stopping by and I thank you guys for the support that you guys have been giving us with all the new subscribers here in the last couple of weeks. I think we're three weeks in. Um, actually the fifth is one month exactly from when we've posted the first video. So, you know, it's blown up you guys. It really has, you know, we can't wait to get to that point where we're monet, you know, we're monetized, you know, being able to, to, to do the whole YouTube thing, you know, full time while being at the shop. So again, without your guys' help, Chris and I wouldn't be able to, to do what we're doing. And, uh, you know, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the, how to start a business you know, and next week, you know, we're going to get into the more of the marketing thing, you know, how to set up a website, you know, how to do your marketing, how to do all of the things that we're doing to make this channel grow, to make the business grow. So um, thank you for stopping by. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. When you do, go down to the comments below and make sure you hit subscribe or sorry, type in subscribe and I will follow back up with you guys in a direct reply. So uh, have a good rest of your day and we'll see you guys on the next video.